Welcome to another video by ProEye Communications and Security Systems. This video demonstrates the new Sulfi Go repeater, which is a hardwired repeater. It uses an external antenna port, which connects uh, externally here in this premise via a double story house, uh, and we're using a 5 dBi omni omnidirectional antenna, which is a multiband antenna that ranges from 700 to 2500 megahertz. We have our indoor or transmitter antenna, we call it the coverage antenna, which connects to the output port of the repeater. We've got our spectrum analyzer, which is looking at the signals that's being transmitted into the room. And we've got a logarithmic antenna. So the logarithmic antenna is connected via cabling to our spectrum analyzer, so we can see what's going on. Now currently, this cell fire go repeater is set to automatic. So, we're having a look here, oh actually no, it's set to uh, 3G, apologise, and here are the Telstra 3G signals, and we're getting a very strong signal. Now what I'm going to do is keep this on the spectrum analyzer, I'm going to rotate the antenna, so that's in a vertical plane, and that's in a horizontal plane, and the signals they're quite the same. Okay, now what we're going to do is change the antenna. Okay, I'm just using a small mobile omnidirectional antenna within the room, and that's also connected to the output of the repeater. And as we can see, it's also producing a similar amount of power. Just to clarify that, there we go. A bit over 70 dB. And that's keeping it at the same distance to our logarithmic antenna. And if I vary that, here, so I'm going to put the Omni horizontal. You can see the difference. It's just dropped below 50. And when I put it back in the vertical plane, it's gone back up to 70. So the difference between the two antennas, and I'll connect this one back and demonstrate. Okay, so we've got the other antenna back on. This is made for distributed antenna systems uh, solutions. And as we can see, the signal is very similar. However, when I rotate this, I'll go into the vertical and horizontal plane. Have a look at the signal on the uh, analyzer. Okay, so it's a vertical plane, it's almost 80 dB. And horizontal, it's about 70 dB. So ideally this antenna is actually transmitting in the horizontal plane a lot better. Okay, I'll just pause for a minute. Alright, now what I'm going to do is going to press the auto button. Okay, it's blinking green. So now what it's going to be doing is 4G. So I'm just going to open span. And we'll just wait for it to resync. And there we are. Okay, it's going back to 3G. set that to blue so blue is automatic now it's going to be looking for the signals to repeat by itself. And just give it a minute okay so we have the 3g signals back let's reduce the span so you can see now I'm going to see if there's anything on 1800 megs. Okay, there's nothing there. So let's select this again, and this time we've got the green setting. So this is 4G.
And there we go. This is so also 1800 megs, 4G, which they call 4GX. And I'm going to go down to the other part of the Telstra 4G. Let's see what we've got. Still nothing. Okay. Alright, that's Amber, so that should be 3G again. We'll just confirm. So we just need the Amber. And there's a 3G, nice and strong. Okay, and I'll select blue. Now blue is automatic, so I suspect it will select either 3G or 4G. At the moment, there's a 3G. G, 800 megs, and that's it. So when we select 4G, the repeater will repeat a 4G signal, but it won't repeat a 3G. And if we select 3G, it will repeat a 3G signal on a 4G. And if we select automatic, it decides for itself whether there's 4G or 3G in the area, and usually defaults to 3G in this situation. So just get back to 3G and there we are. Nice strong signal. And that's a revision of our Sapphire Pro. Thank you. Thank you for watching Pro Communications and Security Systems.